Okay, this problem says, what is the force on the charge Q at the lower right hand, right hand corner of the square shown? Okay, since all the charges are equal, well, they'll all repel each other. So this is the force due to this guy, this guy exerts a force like that, <coughs> and uh, this guy will exert a force in that direction. Actually, so this force will be smaller. Okay, these two forces have equal magnitude and you can see the direction. Now this distance is the diagonal of the square, so it's, it's it is a square root 2a, okay? <clears throat> All right, uh, well, let's label these forces. We'll call it F1, F2, F3. Okay, so what is the force on the charge Q? Um, all right, let's say we'll, uh, we'll call our, label our x-axis and y-axis like this. The magnitude F1 is equal to F2 equal to k q square and by a square and f3 is k q square q is the charge of each uh, q is the charge on, on each particle divided by root 2 a square so k q square by 2 a square so f3 is uh, half one half of f1 to one half of f2 okay so now let's write the, them in vector form so f1 is a <coughs> f1 is a we'll call this kq square as f so f i plus zero j f2 is zero i plus f j and f3 is f by two um, and remember this this angle is 45 degrees and that angle is 45 degrees so uh, cosine 45 i plus f by 2 sine 45 j and uh, So this is equal to, and cosine and sine 45 are one other. So F2 root 2 I plus F2 root 2 J. F3 is that. Okay. So now what we want is a net force and uh, the net force is just the sum of all these forces so let's add a phase below so the net force is f1 plus f2 plus f3 equal to F i plus zero j plus zero i plus f j plus f two root two i plus f two root two j. 
and that's equal to f one plus i plus f one plus that's equal to f two two plus one divided by two root two i plus j that's the net force okay that finishes this problem